where would we be without you? Yeah, that's what our video is about today because you guys have been so helpful to us um, figuring things out and we are going to solve some issues that we run into in the last few weeks. Um, so come along and see what we are going to do with your advice. Now the first thing on our list is to fix our chimney. Initially we just stacked our store-bought pieces of chimney on top of the, the stove and that sort of worked but we found out when you do that it's actually upside down. When you fire up the stove there is like a tar buildup inside the chimney and apparently when you have it the way we have it uh, the tar seeps through so we need to turn it upside down and to do that we needed some additional parts some attachments so it all fits and additionally uh, for the upper part, that the piece that sticks out on top of the tent, we bought a insulated part. For that part we went through the instructions of our yurt and it is recommended but not necessary. Since we're doing the whole thing anyway, we decided to do it and so we have a box full of parts and we're gonna see what's inside. Should be the insulated part. So it's nice and black, so, it's met, so it matches what we already had. It is one meter long and it is obviously insulated. And so what I needed for this was um, a piece that goes on here and that continues the rest of the pipe. And on the other side we want for the little hat that we have on top. Now I also have two of these coupling pieces, they are not exactly the same. One is specific for the top and one is specific for underneath the insulated part. First I'm going to do a dry fit, so about each part I'm going to know which piece is up, which, which piece is down, so it matches from top to bottom. Now, this one fits, this one doesn't, so this is my top. Deze kan ik er wel al meteen op doen. I'm going to try to fit it through the rubber seal, but I expect it to to be too small, so maybe I have to cut it a bit bigger. So on the rubber seal there are lines with sizes, so I can take a knife and just pick one and then try again. It's, it's getting a little, I don't know, um, scary right now, um, because there's a thunderstorm coming while we are still working on this. So we hope we are able to get it done before the storm hits. Um, it's very unpredictable, the weather, because it was going to be a sunny afternoon, but somehow it changed uh, really quick and now it's very close. So um, otherwise we just have to close it um, in a different way than we have now. But we hope we are able to get this thing through on time. Take two.
we got it through. I had to be on the roof to get the rubber over the chimney. It was a bit of a struggle, but we made it work and it fits. Um, the only problem we still have is that it officially doesn't fit here anymore. So we need another couple, uh, another piece that is going to make the whole thing match. And we're going to wait for that. So, but we made it work for now. We are not going to make our stove work, but we do have the gap in the roof closed. That was our main goal. We are one step closer to finishing this project. So this is not necessarily a mistake, but something we decided to do different because it just works better. That's what we think and that's what we hope. So we are going to work in the kitchen right now. We have our solar system panel there in the kitchen with the batteries, but it is taking in so much space. And also with working in the water and the batteries there, we didn't feel like it is a solid solution. So we're going to change the setup. The setup is not going to be placed in the kitchen, but near the solar panels. And Arendt has built um, some sort of cabinet. <laughs> How do you call? Shed. Yeah, he built a shed. And that's where we are going to place the panel and the batteries. Now first we need to get this thing off. It was off in the first place because it's very heavy. And the whole thing is unliftable with it on. So that needs to be done. The batteries are in the way, those are heavy as well, so we need to find a place somewhere here. And then we have to get all the screws out and catch it and bring it over to the new place. Maybe you remember when we placed this board, we had this uh, wood part that was supporting while Arendt was uh, screwing the whole thing down and I was holding it because in one person holding it is kind of impossible. But that board is now used for the shed that he uh, built for the panel. So we have no board anymore. And that's the challenge we have to face right now. And then the yeah, outsides. So I end up with only these two. Right. And you pray in the meantime. <laughs> Pray, uh, put my thing here. And... I can. This is this is better to hold than this part, right? Now I need to. Yeah, and it's, it, it's sturdy enough, I think. All right, so it does make me a little bit nervous. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, one more, one more. Oh, one more. Ah, oh, one more. He needs one more. Okay, now the scary part. First take my side so yeah. I can hold it. Exactly. Right, well, we need to put the board on here as well. Huh? Block. Yeah. Okay guys, moment of truth. Oh dear. I have it here. Okay. Me too. Right. Um, try to get With the board this? as soon as you can. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. All right, turn my side. And to the wall, to the wall, to the wall. You down first. Yes. Oh, wow. That was fine. Never again, never. Can I 
not film it. Yeah. Well, this is the shed we built. So it's going in there against the wall, against some uh, special beams that are extra sturdy. And it's fully insulated with an insulated roof and uh, styrofoam in the walls and the doors. First our challenge was to get it up high with all the weight and now we have the challenge to get it in a smaller uh, space and see how we can hold it. But uh, since the other thing worked out just fine, we have uh, faith in this project as well that we are going to make it work and get the whole thing placed in the new shed. <laughs> Because the batteries are very heavy, the, the best way is to slide them in from the top. But then again, I have this roof now, so it's, looks a, it looks a bit clumsy, but I feel this is still the best way to do it. Finally, last thing in place, the door, and then we have the whole thing uh, moved. Whoa, nice, finally done. Uh, next up is the ground wires and all the other wires to the solar panels. And then we have power. Like I said, we have learned a lot. And uh, also you mentioned, uh, some of you in the comments, that we have to check our wood, whether it's dry enough. So we asked on how is the best way to do that. And also did some research about that. Found this guy to help us. This is a moisture meter for wood and we have tried on our wood to make sure whether it's dry or not and it is and I'm going to show you how it works in case you have no idea what I'm talking about. Now basically what you do is you take a piece of wood that you want to measure. This one is already cut. Oh it's going off. It's turning off. No don't leave me now. So I'm going to turn it on again. It um, hasn't been I didn't use it on time, so we turn it on, it says 0%, and then these points we press that in to the wood as far as we possibly can, and then we have, well, if I push it very hard, um, now it says 7, but if I push it very hard it says 10 which is dry enough. Below 20 is good enough for use. Um, below 10 is even better, I think. We have some sun coming. And you also want to try the end. And that says about 8 or 9. So this part is dry enough. Now this wood is dry enough. Some parts that are lying over there. And they are covered right now. But they are all dry enough for use. I have also some parts of this inside of our yard, so it's all going to be fine. We have enough wood. This is all been lying out the entire summer. I think I cut this somewhere in November, December. Um, in, like I said, it's been lying here for just a, that long and it's dry. 
Uh, but I'm now also going to use this on some parts that I cut later in this season uh, and has been lying around in the sun the entire summer but it's been cut in March so I'm going to check those. Those, those are not uh, split yet so uh, I'm going to do that as well so we can check the inside as well. Now I have a big pile behind me, two walls. This wood has been lying on the land, this tree has been lying on the land the entire summer as a tree and I only cut it last week so I'm going to test one of these to see if it's dry enough. Yeah I'm filming. I thought am I filming this or I have to do it again? Um, this is eucalyptus. I'm also want to try some eucalyptus. I haven't tried that yet. So let's see if I can take it out without destroying everything. Uh, this part I cut this tree in also I think in March and has been lying in not as a tree but in pieces like this, in chunks like this since March as well but on the top of our land there's I don't know more shade I don't know if it's dry enough I'm going to test it and split it so I'm going to take this piece and lie it down so and the rest is comparable to the other pile so I think that is going to be fine although I want to try yeah I might want to try this eucalyptus as well. Take a nice piece of eucalyptus. Let's see. Don't destroy the wall. I'm going to test this one and just to make sure I am, if I reach to the point that I'm going to use that wood, I'm also going to test it. But for now, and this tree. This was a tree until last week, so this is fresh wood and just to show you how moist that is, I'm also going to test that. That I'm not going to use for our wood stove because it is going to be way too wet, but just to show you how it works. Now in front of me I have the wood that we split, Adam needed to come to help me with the eucalyptus, especially the one that's very dry. Uh, I'm going to start with the one that I'm pretty sure of is not going to be used for a while because I cut this tree last week. So I'll turn my moist meter on. Here we go. And we're pushing it in. So it says 24, 25. And I think if I get more strength into it, I go up to 35 now if I have it lying on the ground. So it's too wet. You can try the top. But we also get above 20. So it's too wet. We already knew that. Fresh tree. It needs to dry for a while. This one has been lying on our land here the entire summer. I think it is going to be pretty dry since the summers are very dry here. So I'm going to test it if I can even get it in. Wiggle a little to get the... So we're up nine right now. So that's good. Trying the top. So it gave some different numbers. I'm going to try again. Also seven. So it's good. This has been lying on the top of our land and it's been cut in March. I'm pretty sure of. I found some footage. <laughs> so I'm going to see how this is going. So nine that's dry enough and the top it's nine it's good it's dry can use it and this pine has been lying as a tree on the top of our land but has been cut also somewhere in March maybe a little bit later I'm not so sure but uh, as a tree so not in pieces and I'm going to see, oh, that feels wet. Look, that's still wet. It goes up to 21. So that needs some time. 
to dry still. So you definitely need to cut it in smaller pieces to make sure um, if you want to use it in the season. Even if I cut it early season, so spring, and have it in uh, the sun the entire summer, I see I can use the wood. But as a tree, it's not possible yet. So this will dry, I think, pretty fast because we have some dry weather coming up and um, well, we might use it for a campfire or anything, but not in our yurt. And um, this device is just a very helpful because you feel and you think like oh, it might be dry enough, but it isn't. Definitely a good help to make sure you use dry wood for your wood stove. I'm going to link one below if you are interested in having one or how they work and find some more information about it. So uh, check it out. And that's what I wanted to share in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. We have learned a lot from you guys. So please, if you have something to share, tell so we can learn more. Please feel welcome. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week in another video. We already started filming and we are very excited about it. See you next time.